I get to be the introduction for the presentations, but also everything you need to know about Art Noir I'm going to tell you tonight. So as the member affiliate group, we host a lot of really great events. We do things that support the Des Moines Art Center's mission. We throw really big parties, we raise money for them, we do educational events. Um, most of our members are young professionals, but we have people from 21 to 81 to come to our events. And it's kind of the anti-young professional group I like to think of it as because it's not, yes, we're YPs, but we have this really great common bond of being art lovers and we're not all artists. And we support the mission of the Art Center and its permanent collection. So I picked two of my favorites. Right on the right or your left um, is Roy Lichtenstein's The Great Pyramid from 1969. And on the left was uh, the Francis Bacon. So two of our pieces from the permanent collection. This photo um, is also from the Sculpture Park, and it is a favorite photo of mine because it was one of the first times that I went to an Art Noir event, and it was one of the first times I met one of my dear friends, Laura Palmer. We were wearing the same coat, as you can see. I did not like her. I had a, I had a beta fish mentality. I thought girls in gap trench coats and like art cannot be together, but I'm glad I got over that. Anyway. <laughs> uh, in the mid 2000s, there was a national national. Uh, survey that went out and the result said that arts organizations needed to start engaging young professionals and so because of that uh, the Des Moines Arts Center created Art Noir in 2006 and the group I tried to find the original board members I could not find a photo of them so let's in the, let's say that they are in this photo because it's from <laughs> that time period let's just all assume that they're there and it's a photo of them um, but that's from the, I believe, 2009 Big Hairball, which leads me to one of our best events. It's a, an event called the Big Hairball that we do every other year. These are two photos from it. There's a runway show and party. It's all about self-expression. The runway show has models um, and salons enter to be a part of the show. Hair has to be at least a foot tall and a foot wide. It is the largest fundraiser that Art Noir does every other year. We, um, had over 750 people at the event this year. Um, and this shows the runway show right here and people all crowded around. It's a great party. Not only the models dress up, but everybody there does too. The next event will be a year and a half from now so you can start planning now. We also do a lot of educational events. And here's a photo of Matt McIver, formerly of the Social Club, talking about our Anselm Keeper. And this was from an event called Our Favorite Things and we asked people from the community to come in and talk about three of their favorite works. It was a great way to look at the collection from somebody else's point of view. We also do um, every other year on the off years of Big Hairball and Artist Ball. And we were celebrating the fact that we had the Jackson Pollock mural last year. So this was Pollock Ball. Obviously people get really involved in their costumes. It look, everyone looked like Jackson Pollock had been there and painted their costume. We want to give events to the public that you won't be able to find anywhere else, and that's important in our strategic plan. We also do things like outreach with 8035. Uh, we do a temporary public art project with them every year. This was a confessional board that people could leave anonymous confessions. This was one of my favorites. It says, I just spent all day watching storage wars while I was working from home. <laughs> so they, they get a little bit randier as the night goes on and people are more intoxicated. Um, this was the year before. It was a called a Before I Die wall. It was part of a international art project. These boards are all over the uh, country and world. People could leave things that they wanted to do before they die. It says eat lava, eat more, I, I don't know, eat more pie, it's weird. Um, so we also do something called Hue, and this is an event that is focused around a color. So here's our blue event here, and left on the uh, door left is um, the Vermilion Hue. But these are events that people really want to get involved in, but then we also tie back to our permanent collection. This is the brunch from Eggs and Francis Bacon this year. It's a great event. On the left here is a Henry Osawa Turner Bellini. And on the right is the thing that I dream about now is the Mark Rothko toast with honey cream and jam on the bottom. Um, so basically we picked out some artworks from our collection, uh, the fabulous Lisa uh, mimicked them in food and then we went around and talked about the works that we ate. So they're fun events. This is from our holiday studio. We have a, um, an art studio here that teaches classes. And so in December every year, Art Noir hosts a holiday studio. That person was learning how to blow glass, which we will be doing again this year. We also have a new event called Art Matchmaker that we will be doing again. Basically, it's like speed dating with art. 
people uh, took a survey with um, talking about likes to dislikes of pieces from our permanent collection. They were then paired up on mini dates and did a little speed dating throughout the collection. I mean, it's as valid of a way to get together as anybody else. Oh, and one of the uh, <laughs> um, one of the best things about Art Noir is you get great access to people like Jeff Fleming, the director of the Art Center, and to our curators, Gilbert and Laura and Amy, you wouldn't be able to get this access anywhere else, and especially you get to meet the artists when they're in town too, like we just had a dinner with Phyllida Barlow. Um, upcoming events, we have one in September that is a photography event. It's gonna be a really cool event that's really just about point and shoot cameras, but also how to take photos for social media. I personally am an Instagram only photographer now, so I'm looking forward to that event. And I wanna thank our board all of the things that I talked about, this is a really hard-working board, and I'm going to name them off really quick. This is kind of an older photo, but I want to thank our secretary, Will Aishelman, our finance chair, Rachel Woodhouse, our membership chair, Drew Reboff, our membership at large, uh, Jenna Thompson, our marketing chair, Julia Hogren, our events chair, Kristen Lancaster, and now you can become a member. Uh, it's free to become a member of Art Noir. If you join the Art Center, you can check the box and become a member of Art Noir. And you get discounts to all of those great events, free access to all of the educational opportunities, and first dibs on really great things like with artists with dinners, dinners with artists. So that's it. Thank you. Woo!